sponsored by Winwing Technologies. Full Metal Construction was not just a selling point, it was their baseline. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. First, my apologies, I promised we would not do another D-Day mission because it causes uh, some problems with some viewers, but you guys have just done such a good suggestion, we just have to do it. And then after that, I promise that we will not touch D-Day again. You guys have said, could an AC or some AC-130 Spectre gunships along with A-10s in guns only configuration have stopped the D-Day landings at Omaha, Operation Overlord. So we're going to try. We're not going to take any bombs today because we've already tried this with cluster bombs and we had some pretty decent success. Today is guns and howitzers only. At Omaha Beach on D-Day, we have attacking waves one to six. That's 54 companies in 216 Higgins boats, giving a total of 7,776 men. They will travel towards the beach when wave one, as these guys here, reach the beach. The first thing that will happen is all of the naval stuff will despawn and disappear. That's obviously unrealistic, but it frees up game resources that we're going to need to simulate the infantry. And here's the really cool part. We are going to simulate all of wave one infantry on the beach we're going to try this has never been done in dcs before it is 1296 men 1300 men are going to spawn on that beach there and they're going to charge the german defenses the german defenses today are deliberately nerfed or made worse simply because system resources we are then going to come in as a bit weird i know but german specters german a10s and see if we can destroy these 1300 troops on the beach which will today we will say we're not american we're going to say they're british because we don't mind being shot at we're going to run it in two phases first we're going to run it without the air support so we're just going to do what i said and then have the 1300 men charge the defenses and then once they've got behind the defences, we're going to consider that a win and see how many roughly we have left. Then we're going to rerun an identical version, but with the air support. And we'll talk about how we're going to do it at time and see how we do with the air support. So first, let's run the simulation without the air support. And I forgot to say there are 20, no, 16 Spitfire Mark 9s patrolling as well. Scott, when you're ready, please unpause server and let's see what happens. Here we oh, go. Here we go. Right, let's go and have a look around. It's going to be a few minutes before anything happens. We've got the LSTs back here. Now, interesting, the LSTs in real life actually have the ability, because of their low draft at the foul, to actually go onto the beaches themselves. They were actually landing craft. Now, in DCS, you can't do that, or at least I can't figure out to do that. So the LSTs in game are just disembarkation craft for the, uh, the Higgins craft. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go and check out the Higgins craft. So that is 216 Higgins craft. If you really want to test a DCS server to see how good it is, then put in 216 Higgins craft. This, I think, is, as far as I'm aware, the biggest AI multiplayer session ever hosted, actually. We're going to have well over 1,300 units all fighting each other at one point, which will almost certainly not work. But there you go. And all it takes is 5 gigahertz worth of power. Mm -hmm. Although, like we found out, uh, Scott's joined us to help with our technical problems. Um, because obviously you need massive servers. It's more, the bottleneck tends to be in the internet side. Is that right? Am I, am I right saying that, Scott? That is correct, but there are some in-game limitations. Roger. Right, it takes about four minutes for this Higginscraft 12 knots to do the one mile or whatever it is. Uh, once they get to the beach, they will despawn, and then the 1,300 troops will spawn in, and things are going to get super hectic after that. Big external view you can see there if your YouTube compression will allow you to see that. 216 landing craft, seven nearly eight thousand men, British men. LSTs, they would have had much more LSTs in real life, but again, we're just uh, freeing up resources. 16 Spitfires above us somewhere. And five miles of lovely French coast. Okay, we have the first firing going on. The ranges of all the weapons are, you know, realistically modelled. So we've got these. I uh, actually forgot what they are. Are they uh, MG42s, I think? Actually, I'm not going to... I don't know. I don't know. Liking those ricochets off the water. Yeah. And ricochets are modelled in DCS, not just visually, but also in terms of damage. A lot of problems we've been having in friendly fire at the moment in various war games. It's caused, it turns out, by ricochets, whether you can see them or not. They're there, and they're causing us quite a few problems. Now, will they even make it to the beach before they're mowed down by those MGs? Well, we'll have to... Fingers crossed. Okay, 30 seconds to go until the Marines get out of the boats. 
Come on, guys. We be oh, there's a group down there. I didn't even realise. Boom, boom, boom. And here we go. Boats have reached the beach. Men are getting out. Get ready for the biggest spawn in history. And... Oh, there it is. There it is. Infantry on the beach. That is 1,300 men on the beach. Frames per second is going to go a little bit low, I'm afraid, at this point. But that is 1,300 men model. They're all charging the gun positions, as you can see. Go on, boys. Go on, boys. Attrition rates are going to be bad, but... Let's see if we can do a zoom in and see all 1,300 men expect to crash. Look at that. All 1,300 men. Look at that. Can't hold the camera still. It's impossible. There we go. Got a lock. Look at that. That's 1,300 valued, beautiful humans doing our reenactment up the beach. I can hear little footsteps there. You can hear the sounds disappeared because we've overloaded, overloaded the sound system, obviously. We've got 1,300 plus sounds all happening at once. Well, I assume... There you go. Okay, they've done relatively well. Like I said, we toned down the uh, German defences because otherwise it just crashes. So what we want to see is when our guys get behind the defences, at which point they've obviously taken the defences out. Get a rough count for how many we've killed. Mm, got a few to go yet. Let's have another look. There they go. Look at them. Charge those defences. 1300. Valued beautiful. Look, oh, got some bodies down there. Don't worry, they're not dead. They're just having a rest. Marines never die. That's exactly right. Marines never die. And they do not have permission to die. Except there are no Marines on Omaha. Were they not when they weren't Marines? No. Well, Marines. Oh, uh, my apologies, guys. I always just assumed they were Marines. Yeah, same here. Right. Infantry, then. Look at them. They're in, they're in the obstacles here. Uh, they're... Past the fence, they went through the fence actually, but that's what infantry can do if they're highly trained. Uh, they're going in the trees, they're in the town now, they're throwing grenades and flamethrowers into those uh, German nests. That's impressive, right? I don't know many game slash simulators that could do that. They're all got, you know, individual. Um, hitboxes, they're all, they're not just walking through terrain, I know they walk through fences, but they don't walk through houses, they go around them. So that's not bad. Now my computer's no supercomputer, it's just an AMD. M you know, middle of the road. So I'm actually quite impressed by that. Although it's not playable, obviously, it's like 5 FPS or whatever. Let's see how long it took to get up the beach. It took just over a minute. It took just over a minute. Obviously, that is not realistic. Again, we've got massively, you know, lower defensive compared to real life. But if they were, could charge at five knots or whatever they're charging at. So let's have a look. I've got no way of counting how many survived. I'm going to have a guess about maybe 300 got shot down. And maybe 1,000 made it through. You'd have to have some hero to go and count them. But anyway, have a rough look at there at how many roughly got through. And we're going to compare that once we've strafed them, obviously, with the uh, with the big guns and see if it's visibly different. Uh, so that was interesting. We are now going to introduce our aircraft. So, unfortunately, we could only get one Herc pilot with balls big enough to do this. It's an extremely difficult thing to do to strafe a five-mile beach. I can just about do it, but I really want to be a bit more effective so I'm going in the A10 but we do have Cannonball who's going to do it say hello Cannonball hello it's not designed to do long strafes it's designed to go in an orbit and then pinpoint one certain spot so to be able to strafe it you have to basically fly a kind of knife edge pass and it's a very difficult thing to do uh, he's going to be armed with of course his 105 howitzer his Gal 23 chain gun 30 mil and of course his Vulcan cannon then we've got our A10 drivers myself Poosh and Scott today. Say hello, boys. Howdy. Hello. And we're in A10Cs, and we've got the Gal 8 Avenger Cannon only. So three A10s we're going to have. One C130. Uh, stand by. In the cockpit now, I've got my beautifuls with me. The tactics is thus. We're going to have a perfect time on target attack, so that the second 
that the infantry spawn, we should be over target and be able to lay down fire. Timing is absolutely critical. It's going to be really hard. When we get close to the spits and I tell the men we're going to go full power because the spits are a real problem. They're, you know, they're seriously nasty planes to fight against. We can't beat them in air to air. So once we're full power, we're going to release on target. We're going to do the strafe along the beach against 1,300 guys. Then just keep on full power, guys. Don't turn. Just go straight down the coast and outrun the spits. That's the only chance we've got survival. If we turn back at any point... To go back in, we'll die immediately. How do I know that? We've done this so many times now in different guises on war games. So one strafe, run away, and theoretically then we would come back after 40 miles after we'd outrun them and do another strafe on the next. Wave, guys. Um, cannibal is in command. Three, two, one, go. Get your weapons selected. Say 6,000 feet. Let's get to 290 knots. Out guns check. Guns are good. We must stop watch on. Okay, we're 12 seconds in. So if you look at the bottom of the screen value views, you'll see a clock. We are going to fly to time our uh, entry onto the beach to the second. So that it, theoretically, as soon as we open our fire, the infantry are going to spawn on the beach. It means we have to go at the exact right speed, exact right altitude. Everything has to be perfect. Okay, tally Spitfires. Okay, we are 90 seconds in and we are time on target plus zero, all is well. Two minutes in, time on target plus zero, all is well. Uh, I think the spits have seen us. I see the uh, ships are being fired on. Sort of. Yep, ships are definitely being fired on. Three minutes into the simulation, time on target I think is zero, all is well. Stick with it guys, stick with it. Stay on target, don't panic. ETA 60 seconds, 60 seconds. A10s are going to start climbing. Herc can start diving. We don't want full power yet. In fact, in fact, okay, we're merging now with the first spit. I think we've got enough delta speed. Thirty-eight seconds to go. Release. Full power. a tens climbing. I'm going to try and drag those spits off you. Twenty seconds. Cap cutting and diving. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm going to hit. Piss off, Spitfire. I'm taking some serious shells. I'm okay. Eight seconds till spawn. Eight seconds. Air break out. I'm still operational. Two seconds. One second. Bad. They're in. Go. Oh, that's a great real loss. Hold up. 
crucifixion of Pharaoh. Power. Let's get the chuff out of here, guys. Don't know how many were killed, but we'll worry about it later. Now, escape the spits. It's critical to escape the spit. To Cannibal, are you alive? I'm alive. Go, 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 go. Look at the destruction. Yes, run, right. We've got to survive, guys. I think we lost Scott somewhere. But that's two A-10s alive and one C-130 alive. Oh, we've still got uh, spits all over us, guys. In terms of effectiveness, we'll worry about it later. Oh my God, we've got spits diving on us. I'm going to... This guy's got in front of me. I'm going to take him out. Okay, a push. Get ready for evasive. There's a baddie about to shoot you. Pull up. Pull up. Ready. Altitude. Altitude. Shack one. Splash one. Keep going, guys. Keep nice going. Shooting. Nice shooting. Yes, yes, we're outrunning them. They're, they're panicking. We're outrunning them. You said a live uh, hook. There he is. I see him. Um, distance between us and the closest fighters. Uh, Scott. I can't GCI right now. Oh, Roger. Okay, no worries. I think we're safe, guys. I think we're safe. Right. Uh, pause server, please, Scott. And let's see how much damage we've done. Right. Oh, God. That was worryingly satisfying. Uh, right. Stand by. And see what we did, guys. It, um, not looking as good. I mean, they do look thinned out, uh, and we've got the skills, ta uh, the skills. We've got the scores tallied up uh, here. If I can find it, where's that file gone? There. So Cap got 300. I mean, this is the score that DCS adds up. It's not necessarily 100% accurate, but it's close. Cap got 330 kills. Scott, before he turned into a flaming wreck, got 188 kills. Cannonball in today's only Herc. 106? That's not bad. Bearing in mind how hard it is to aim that Herc down there. It's very, very, very difficult. Poosh uh, had a few problems. He got 52. Giving us a total score count of 676, which is about half of 1,300. Uh, so about half of them we killed. Then probably another 100 or so were killed by the towers. So they got through the wave and they are still going to get behind the back and they are still going to do the damage but remember these are reduced uh defenses for this sim so i guess it's up to you valued viewers whether you constitute that a success or not i say it's a success one strike with three a10s with terrible lag we were having as well you know very hard to fly and being shot up by uh spitfires and one herc with one run only we managed to kill 50 percent nearly 700 guys which i think is pretty impressive yeah i'm quite chuffed with that i thought we did pretty dang well con considering what we had i was really worried we were going to end up with like 20 kills each because you never know how these things are going to go but oh i should say i put high explosive ammo in all of the guns by the way so there was no solid slugs there they were all high explosive so it's like throwing each of us fired 1100 rounds so that's throwing oh plus the herc so we throwed about 8,000 high explosive rounds on them uh, which is pretty hardcore. Uh, we won't know exactly what happens until we look at the track file and get the video done. I look forward to doing that. Boys, well done, and we'll see you later.